The most deep realization that the male characters in MGTOW come to is that women are more afraid of solitary males than we are. This is the moment that the male characters in MGTOW reach the most profound enlightenment. The vast majority of men who are now unattached are overly simplistic, women don't take them seriously because they aren't desirable or because they haven't evolved themselves enough. To put it another way, a lot of single men who aren't in relationships are afraid of approaching women for fear of coming off as weird or getting a bad reaction from them. Imagine for a moment that I told you there has been a significant deviation from the rules. It is natural for contemporary women to feel apprehensive about the possibility of dating a man who is not currently in a committed relationship with someone else. Permit me to go into further detail on why. In order to accomplish this, we must initially investigate the mental processes and biological foundations that are exclusive to women. That sheds a lot of light on the feminine psyche and its roots, which is helpful. I have previously broached the topics of hypergamy and the unending quest for male perfection that is undertaken by women on this platform. However, that is not going to be very beneficial for you because you are already aware of that. To get things started, I'd like to talk about how much value women put on maintaining their own dignity as well as how others perceive them. When you fully get that, a lot of other ideas and principles will make more sense to you. Since the beginning of time, people have looked to women as role models for desirable physical appearance. On this point, there is widespread consensus. The beauty that women represent to the rest of humanity is their most appealing selling point. This helps to explain why women have traditionally been seen as symbols of sexual desire. The reason for this is that, throughout history and until now, a woman's physical appearance has been considered to be her most valuable asset, this is also the primary reason for the development of the beauty industry. As a result, a piece of jewelry could be over a thousand years old, and the origin of some cosmetics could go all the way back to ancient Egypt. Women, as a rule, are more concerned with how they present themselves to other people than males are. They place a significant amount of importance on their appearance and their level of popularity. It is essential for us that they maintain that appearance at all times. In the end, they'll be able to attract companions who are a better fit for them. Because this is where a woman will be able to find her future husband, the size of the pool of potential suitors that she is able to attract is the single most important factor in determining a woman's status in society. She considers herself to be more appealing as a result of the increasing number of guys who ask her out and assist her. If no one asks her out and she continues to be turned down, she will completely lose any sense of worth she may have had. This is not an irrational assumption. This kind of thing happens rather frequently. If it hurts you as a guy, that does not mean it hurts as much as it does for women simply because it hurts you. Because they are not accustomed to dealing with rejection, women frequently experience emotional instability when they are confronted with it. Women have a propensity to experience emotional breakdowns when they are rejected. Or in the event that a date that was previously scheduled had to be postponed. If she places the highest importance on receiving male attention and no one, not even more capable orbiters, delivers it to her, she will finally come to the conclusion that she has no value at all. She is willing to record herself sobbing on camera and tell her life narrative to whoever is interested in listening to it. On TikTok, he will not only meet her but also other women who are similar to her in appearance and personality. You'll probably run into even more of them in their late 20s, which is the time when their selection of potential partners is beginning to become more limited. This brings me full circle to the point I made at the beginning of this paragraph. Even more so for modern women, who are the most serial monogamists of all time, blissfully single males are a huge source of concern for today's women. This is because modern women are the most serial monogamists of any period in history. When they see a single man who is successful and happy with his life, it causes a great deal of emotional distress for them. Women in today's society feel the same way about the increase in the number of dangerous males like these. The media is so adamant about portraying Migo as a radical group because of this reason. It's the same happy single guys they fear so much, but they're calling it a movement for angry and entitled single men instead of what it really is, the same happy single men. It doesn't make sense to me why that would be the case. What exactly gives single women cause for concern when it comes to single men? 
since doing so lessens the attraction they exude as well as the value they hold. They have used the man who followed them, courted them, and proposed marriage to them because society required that they should as a means to further their own interests. In today's culture, marriage and the search for one soulmate are considered to be vital preconditions for achieving happiness. Because of this, women place their faith in this ideal and date dozens upon dozens of potential partners until they find the one. Men who opt to live on their own, without a wife or other spouse, are not the norm and can be considered countercultural. They did not adhere to the accepted wisdom. To do because of the tremendous progress that has been made in the world, many educated men have arrived at the opinion that women are overrated. Those assertions are not coming from me at all. Every stand-up comedian and affluent man who has easy access to women will tell you that the current world, with its problems like harassment legislation, makes the cost-benefit analysis less favorable. This is because the current world has difficulties like harassment legislation. The process of getting a divorce can be fraught with pitfalls and allegations, as follows, this further reduces the risk that may potentially be gained in relation to the potential reward. It dawned on women that many men who had a firm grasp on how the world functioned were overrated and not worth their time, it was not worth wasting time with women and demanding their attention just to experience a moment of gratification. Women came to realize that many men who had a firm grasp on how the world functioned were overrated and not worth their time. In point of fact, most men rapidly tire of being in the company of women. The sole source of a man's happiness should be the accomplishments he has accomplished for himself, his relationship with a woman should not contribute in any way to his sense of fulfillment. Previous experiences with women have been unfavorable for a good number of men. They ought to just give up and start taking advantage of the freedom that comes with being single males. They began training their new puppies in the same manner that one would train a new body or a new home. They established themselves professionally and set out on adventures of discovery, which led them to a degree of fulfillment that no woman could ever give them. Makeup is not produced in any manner, shape, or form. Based on the strange behavior of men when they are with themselves, the danger is because it is constructed of high-value males, which are the precise men that women expect to marry and settle down with and the very men that women enjoy manipulating. This poses a risk since it is constructed of high-value males. These men have an understanding of the way women think, and they have no desire to continue playing the gender role game now that they have this knowledge. They also conquered their inherent predispositions and stopped equating their sense of well-being with the approval or rejection of women. This was a huge step in the right direction for them. They started depending on their own sense of purpose in life, which is disastrous for the female who goes to the club with the intention of getting hit on by the guys there. If you give her free alcoholic beverages, expensive meals, and clothes, she will brag about it on Twitter. The boys are withdrawing from the game because they are no longer interested in it. They would prefer to avoid being engaged in anything at all, to be honest. They want to know where all the desirable males are, and they don't understand how a man can be so carefree and content when he has no vested interest in the dating scene. This is something that men are doing as a result of being around her, as well as the fact that more and more modern women are freaking out over it. It's a job that some women look forward to doing. No matter the motivation behind their curiosity, everyone wants to know what modern women would do if they were to continually find themselves attracted to a man who appears to be so content and focused on his goal without giving much thought to them. This is a question that intrigues people for a variety of reasons. They are unsuccessful in engaging the betas that they are looking for. The only reason they are still around is to attend her workouts and do her bidding, which is why they are always there. Now that everything is settled, she wants to start dating males. Like these sock puppets in order for her to ride the divorce horse to money and then spend like crazy on a nice house in the suburbs so that she can brag about it to her friends. She is interested in men like this one. On the other hand, it would be a major setback if these men all of a sudden started neglecting their families in order to give their full attention to the task at hand. The fact that she has no power or influence over males presents a significant threat. If these males are successful in convincing other males to pursue women, then the women will soon be the ones doing the pursuing. On the other hand, men will be focused with the accomplishment of their own objectives, and they should keep in mind that women do not face the same kinds of challenges everywhere they go. 
When a woman reaches a particular age, she loses the ability to be physically appealing and loses the ability to attract men. In point of fact, nobody asked for her. On the other hand, a man has nothing to gain by tying the knot with a partner and everything to gain by keeping his single status for the foreseeable future. She is in grave danger if she is unable to attract the attention of a man in the early stages of the process, and if he displays absolutely no interest in her, she has no other options available to her. To put it simply, this is the precise reason why women are so terrified of successful single guys. Thank <laughs> you.